Zenith Aslam goes through the debris of what was until two days ago. Her home in her hand are the only possessions she's left with. An umbrella, a small purse, and a pair of sandals. She lost everything in the flood which swept through Kotem district in the southern state of Kerala on Sunday. In the morning, I heard on TV that there is a red alert in a few regions. But the water level started to rise so suddenly. First, it was as high as my hip, and soon it rose to my neck. Somehow, I managed to move to higher ground, but everything is gone. Nothing is left here. Across the road from the river, which swept away Zenith's house, the Joes family look through their belongings to see what they can salvage. Their home is still standing, but anything left in the house is covered in mud. This is the first time in our life that we're experiencing this kind of situation. Our grandfather told us there was a similar flood in 1957. The last time there was a flood, we had water up to our doorstep, but not this bad. Saturday's torrential rain led to landslides which killed dozens of people and flooding which has displaced thousands. This church on the border between the two worst affected districts, Koteam and Iduki, is housing around 200 people who have nowhere else to go. It's one of more than 100 shelters in the state housing thousands of people who are in the same situation. And that's a concern because Kerala continues to record the highest number of COVID-19 cases and deaths in the country. Healthcare workers told Al Jazeera it's difficult to impose COVID-19 protocols during such disasters. We've been telling people to take care and follow the COVID protocols as much as possible. We're also providing them with masks and medication, but they're not able to follow the rules because they're in a panic mode after losing everything. Flooding from monsoon rains is an annual occurrence in Kerala, but environmentalists say it's leading to more disasters such as landslides. Because these are fragile areas, increasingly becoming more fragile because of the human interventions which are actually creating problems. The wetlands are getting filled, hills are being leveled, and you know we see a lot of uh, deforestation and mining happening in the hilly areas. With more heavy rain predicted later in the week, emergency response teams try to clear as much debris as possible from rivers to prevent any further destruction. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, Kotem, Kerala.